Hello my barbecue chicken lovers, today I have for you something really delicious. This solo legendary setup can annihilate every goddamn room in a couple of seconds. Not only you have insane 6% armor regen on this one, but as well weapon damage and maximum possible skill damage. My setup is not optimized and it slaps still any enemy booty kicks! Oh, just look at this armor again. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful sight to see. Uncle Butcher in the building with insanity. If you are new here, welcome to the family, my beautiful bastard. But long story short, here I'm using a lot of top tier synergies. Of course, kinetic momentum with memento backpack. This combo is one of the best combos for solo players in the game. And as you see, this wave can be dealt with in 30 seconds maybe less it's super easy especially when you com can combine two skills such as artificial hive and assault or the game over especially for lazy players because artificial hive will make your second skill basically immortal and in this case it works really well you can replace artificial hive with decoy this combo as well is pretty uh, delicious. You can replace Artificial Hive with uh, um, Striker Drone, but Drone dies quickly, but uh, you can clear a little bit quicker rooms. Uh, you can use Deflector Shield, although Deflector Shield in this one is not the best option in my eyes, but you got the point. And with some easy tweaks, this setup can fit any goddamn playstyle. So, like I said, you have tons of armor regen, you have skill damage, you have utility, you have survivability, and you can tweak things to fit your playstyle. This will work in solo and in team play, but before we continue, quick word from today's sponsor, Deving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles, they will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through icon sharing, this service has been working for many many years. They have tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself. But now with my promo code AirBD, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services. But now let's get back to this legendary setup. And like I said, this is a setup for lone wolves ak solo players because you don't need really any other teammates to clear legendary strongholds you can carry low level characters with this setup and i mean in the game right now leveling oh is so tedious <laughs> and boring by completing stronghold you will gain only 600 plus kxp not even one full Shaytek level by completing legendary stronghold yes it's so goddamn lame you have to apply directives to your open world or your mission in this case uh, district union arena to gain one level per completing legendary stronghold and with this setup you can do one run in 25 ish 30 minutes as a solo player so with that boring intro out of ways let's dive into this setup for specialization here we're gonna use technician specialization and the reason is quite simple we will gain one extra skill there and that will allow us to use one more armor core attribute in this setup we need extra armor to increase our survivability weapon damage is not necessary on top of that we are getting artificial hive which gonna heal our skills and our teammates skills and it works really well with your deflector shield if you choose to run it because deflector shield will be healed with your artificial hive on your backpack you don't have to drop it and you can be close to your assault turret and the story will be the same you're gonna heal your turret basically by hanging around it's super dope synergy we are getting extra skill damage of course disrupt grenades those are absolutely amazing on legendary difficulty for the guns though we are using here test subject name it assault rifle with perfect insane really easy to use new player friendly simple 40 percent skill and weapon damage buff for second weapon though i'm using scorpio shotgun really good for pv one of the best weapons for pv period not only you apply 
applying multiple status effects, eventually you're gonna apply shock, it's really handy against bosses, rogue agents, chungus, but also all with all stacks applied, your enemy will receive by 20% more damage from all sources. This rule will be applied to your skills as well, so that works really, really well with your test subject. Simply use Scorpio shotgun against chunga, apply all stacks, then switch to your test subject and you're gonna add additional 40% skill and weapon damage. Oh my goodness, this barbecue chicken at its finest. For the pistol though, I have said million times before, you should use two pistols on your skill setups. One with insane, one and second with future perfection for overcharge reasons. Just make a cycle, proc overcharge by killing an elite enemy, now you have 90 second cooldown I think, and then simply switch on the fly. For your in sync pistol and in general if you're gonna play with direct supplies most likely you will be short on ammo so make sure that you have a pistol with in sync save your nerves and time for the gear i'm using two pieces from uh, bulwark and here will go the first rules or how you can modify the setup to fit your playstyle if you want more protection from elites use it chill out Gilagard named mask that will provide you with two mod slots and in both of those mods mod slots put protection from elite mods in that way you will reach almost 50 percent even more than that it's really really dope and switch picaro's holster for second uh, bulwark piece if you don't need bulwark pieces you can replace those with two golem gear pieces and two golem gear pieces will provide you with 10% status effect buff and of course extra 1% armor regen. In that way you are gaining 6% armor regen, absolutely not. For the chest piece here though, I'm using Bellastone Armory. Bellastone Armory will give us 1% armor regen with kinetic momentum, one of the best talents for solo players in PvP. You are gaining Reaper skill which works really well with Artificial Hive and of course skill damage. Really, really nice talent to have. And you are not forced to sit behind the cover if you want to use, for example, Overwatch, or if you, and you will not be punished by making mistakes if you, if you would use the glass cannon talent. For the holster, I'm using Picard's holster. But if you want to use this setup with deflector shield, I would recommend you to switch Picard's holster with third piece from bulwark gear in that way you would get extra armor regen again six percent armor regen and extra shield health which will be really handy with your uh, deflector shield and again remember that artificial hive can heal your deflector shield on the fly from your backpack you don't have to drop it on the floor memento backpack from other hand is absolutely must have it will give you three core skill three core attributes excuse me skill efficiency and of course three percent fucking armor regen which will slap Ass. So you can push this build in any direction with more regen, uh, but with less protection from elites and weapon damage, with more armor regen, but with more damage, or somewhere in between. Like I'm pushing this setup for the gloves, I'm using bulwark gloves with skill damage murikami knee pads just make sure that everywhere you have skill damage and armor regen in this setup i don't have skill damage on three pieces i should have it on my holster picaro's holster on my murikami knee pads and of course on my mask so this build is not optimized and it still slaps so make this effing build now